All right, back again, and today I want to tell you about uh, one possible way on how to fix a uh, discrete error. It is not uh, by any means an easy way and uh, requires a lot of patience, uh, a lot of skill, and uh, in some cases a lot of time. Um, but uh, nonetheless, I'll give you a run through of what's uh, worked for me. With these game cubes here, uh, when you open them up, Usually in English, it says right here, it says, do not touch lens. And uh, honestly, I can vouch for that. When they say do, do not touch the lens, they mean don't touch the lens. And uh, in most cases, if you have a, a dirty lens or something like that uh, with most game systems, all you have to do is just use a Q-tip, and uh, you can wind up cleaning off the end of the, uh, the lens. But the GameCube is extremely sensitive, and uh, even using a Q-tip just lightly around the lens can throw the lens out of whack, and your GameCube will stop reading games. It's a really, really bad design for the uh, a laser, a really fragile design. But uh, in some cases, not even uh, touching it or uh, not even cleaning it, that lens can get out of whack. And uh, today I'll show you a possible way of, uh, of fixing that problem. Uh, things that you're going to need, you're going to need a screwdriver, uh, a special screwdriver to take out those uh, screws on the bottom. Probably need a pair of scissors. And these are pretty rough, but you're going to need a Q-tip, a clean one and uh, preferably one that doesn't have the uh, plastic in the middle, one that has like uh, the uh, paper or the cardboard in the center. Uh, you'll need a uh, toothpick and you need some sort of uh, Elmer's glue and a pair of tweezers. The best kind of tweezers would be something that has rubber grips on it. These ones are actually metal so they're not the best choice uh, by any means. Uh, if you have rubber, or you can put some sort of rubber caps over the, the top here, uh, like even pieces of wire, like uh, the outside of the wire, like the sheathing for wire, if you can cut a piece of wire, put the rubber sheathing around the outside of something like this and use that, that would be excellent. But um, first of all, you're going to use your screwdriver, and uh, on the bottom here, I've already taken them out, but there are four screws. and. Uh, they're conveniently located. There's uh, one there, one there, and one on the other side. There's two more. Once you remove uh, those four screws, uh, you should be able to pop your case off here and uh, should slide off really simply, easily. Uh, once you get your case off, then you're able to do some more work uh, on the inside. It's a little bit easier. Uh, what I actually like to do is I, I like to take the whole unit out, um, which requires uh, sometimes like pulling down on this to get the, uh, the one side out and then you can click it out on the uh, on the back and then the sides too you gotta push it over to the sides and you can pop it out there and then same as uh, the side here and uh, this thing is held in by a couple of straps and some wires which you have to take out you have to remove the straps in the back and things like that once you remove those, unfortunately I'm not going to do that in this video, I'm going to try and make it quick, but um, once you remove all the, uh, the straps, you're going to want to take this, uh, this laser piece uh, here, and you can see there's a plastic, um, kind of like either plastic or uh, some kind of glue holding the, the uh, laser in place. And uh, using your cotton swab here, what you're going to do is take one end of it using your scissors here. I'm going to try and cut it on an angle and you should have something that looks like that. Um, like I said, it's really better to use uh, cardboard or the uh, paper ones because if you scratch the uh, laser in any place you'll, you'll just make the situation worse. Um, for this repair I, I definitely recommend it as kind of a last resort repair um, where you, you either have to go out and buy a new uh, GameCube or you don't have a lot of money, um, you got a lot of time on your hands, you just feel like screwing with something. Um, this, this repair is for you, but uh, if you do have other options, well, by all means, there's uh, definitely easier ways to go about this. But um, what you'll do after you do this, uh, after you cut this, you're going to find the, the laser and uh, try and get up underneath the laser and 
pull out. You don't want to pull out too hard or you don't want to pull out too fast because this laser will sometimes pop out and uh, go flying across the room or something. And uh, once again, once it hits the floor, it can scratch. So um, if you have a, a towel around the area or um, something soft that it can land on, that's perfect. Um, but once you, once you get your uh, laser popped out here, it's a matter of repositioning the laser or the lens, sorry. Uh, once you get the lens popped out, you gotta reposition it. So you're gonna take it out and um, if you have uh, your your tweezers here and they're, they have something soft and rubbery on them, you can pull it out and uh, using a really thin cloth like a, an eyeglass cloth, you can uh, you can wipe down the, uh, the lens and make sure it's clean and then try to reinsert it. When you put it back in using these tweezers, you know, place it on there so that it's somewhat, um, somewhat stationary. It's not going to move. And uh, for this laser, there is a plastic tab. There's a really small tab. I don't know. You should be able to see it. Um, it's a square tab. And make sure that square tab is facing the front. Uh, when you put it back in and using the other side of your uh, your cotton swab what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to press in on it but you don't want to press it in all the way and uh, you don't want to press it in too hard because what you need to do is you need to find the exact angle uh, that it needs to be on in order to read the disc this is where the uh, patient's part comes in you might have to lift up one side just uh, just a little bit and then slowly press it back down um, many times just to see if you can get the laser to pick up the uh, pick up the disc. Um, throughout this uh, situation or throughout this testing, you're going to have to do a lot of uh, holding the back part of uh, of these two tabs here. These are the ones that show that the uh, door is closed. Um, if you want to do a simpler way, I suppose what you could do is uh, you could take this back plate off and. Uh, you get a rubber band too and uh, stick a rubber band around these back two and stretch the rubber band all the way around to the front make sure I don't touch, touch the uh, lens on this stretch this around to the front and uh, snap it on the corner so now you have your two tabs uh, stuck back and uh, it'll always uh, be ready to go um, when you go to turn the power on so you'll turn the power on and then uh, have your disc on and it should start reading. Uh, but uh, once again, this is something that takes a lot of time. Um, I, I've kind of gotten it down to the point where I, I know just about uh, what angle each of these lenses have to be on and just how perfectly uh, aligned they have to be. Um, so I can get it done uh, a lot quicker than somebody who's doing this for the first time. But um, it is an option, and uh, I just wanted to share it with uh, those uh, who are willing to try it. Um, but yeah, just resetting this and uh, repositioning it, and then using, uh, using this Q-tip to push it back down. Once you get it in the perfect position and it's actually reading your disc, what you're going to do next is um, you're going to take your, um, your toothpick here and... Like I said before, there's uh, there's like either some plastic or some, it looks like maybe some glue, maybe some hot glue, I'm not sure. It's definitely uh, small and really hard to, uh, hard to, uh, what do you want to say, hard to get at, I suppose. It's just on the very edges of this laser. But um, once you pull this out, that stuff is going to be a, a little bit loose. But um, you'll take your Elmer's glue and take the cap off here and we'll apply some of this glue you want it so you can get a small ball at the end and then what you're going to do once you get your laser positioned correctly and it's reading the disc is uh, you're going to carefully go around each of the four corners and slightly add one drop of glue just one drop and make sure you don't overlay it on top of the uh, the laser at all or the lens at all make sure you only touch the corners and it's really really uh, precise you gotta do it uh, really carefully and uh, 
let it dry don't touch it with the q-tip again if you do you'll smear it and you'll cause more problems but uh, yeah if you can do it right you'll have uh, a working GameCube in a matter of moments so uh, anyway that's all for now thanks for watching